here with former junior welterweight champion Devin Alexander. Going looking. To say what? What's going on, man? Uh, what's going on, Devin? You uh, going for your third world title at the age of 25. Yeah. First uh, first shot at welterweight title on September the 8th against Randa Baylor. How you feeling? Feel good. I'm blessed. Blessed situation. You know, um, coming off a uh, tremendous performance against Marco Medina, and you know I'm ready for the best. Uh, Bailey got a title. I'm ready to get my first title at 147. I'm preparing myself mentally, physically, so I'm ready. I'm excited. Fight's going to be in Memphis. Your first time fighting in Memphis. Um, but you, you've, you moved camp, the last camp, the Maidana camp. You moved yeah. it back to St. Louis, uh, and you're working in St. Louis this camp. Talk about just the difference in not being away from home. and What's the difference training for you here rather than maybe in Colorado or Vegas? Oh, there's no difference. There's no difference. You know, I'm, I'm steady getting up every morning, 6 o'clock, running my miles. Um, steady going to the gym every day, working hard, as usual, going home, um, as usual, uh, getting my proper rest. So there's no different. You know, um, just I'm continuing to work hard. You got to work even harder now since you're at home and you got a lot of distractions. But, you know, um, I stay away from it when I'm um, getting ready for a fight. And, you know, I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be at home training for, the, for my fight. I love training at home. And, you know, I'm, I'm disciplined enough to, to train at home, so, you know, there's no difference. Hey, you're, you're in there just, just kind of shadow boxing, throwing 500 punches around. Uh, a, lot, a lot was made after the Bradley fight and then after the Matisse fight. Yeah. And it, it was attributed to, the, to having to drain yourself to make 140, and, you know, people, people said, oh, you know, I know it's excuses, but then the performance gets my Donna. I think people started to realize, okay, you know, that really was the problem. Just, just talk about how much better you feel at welterweight than having to drain yourself to 140. Well, yes, I definitely feel stronger and faster. Uh, 140, you know, without me knowing, because I'm a hard worker, and, you know, if I signed, a, signed on to make the weight 140, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make 140. You know, no matter how drained or weak I am, you know, not knowing. But in my fights, you saw the result of that, you know, me losing too much weight and me coming down, you know, you know, 15, 16 pounds, you know, it's, it's tough. You know, and I'm getting bigger, stronger, you know, I'm older now. So um, it definitely was the um, problem. But me moving up to 147, I feel faster, stronger, and you're you going to see the old Devin Alexander as you saw it with Urango. Now, I hear you're weighing, you know, five and a half, five weeks out from the fight. Yeah. You're already eight pounds off weight. You're at 155, is that right? Yeah, something like that. Oh. In between, yeah, in between, yeah. You're not having to, I mean, you're just, you're just not having to kill yourself to do yeah. that. And, and how much easier does that just make training camp and getting up every morning and, and just, you know, diet goes into it? How much easier does that make your entire life having to train for a fight? It makes it that much even sweeter, you know. Um, you don't have to worry about the weight. You know, the weight's going to come off when you want it to come off. Um, you don't have to struggle, you know, losing your muscle or lose that much water weight or whatever. Um, you can stay strong, stay healthy, you know, and continue to eat, you know, your three meals. And, um, you know, it, it feels good. You don't have to worry about it because if you got to worry about weight, you know, you barely can, you know, uh, practice on the game plan. you got to worry about the weight. So it definitely feels good to be at 147 and not to struggle. Now, uh, you know, this is a big fight for you, one, one that you weren't really expecting. Uh, Randall Bailey was the one who, who came looking for you, and he's got the title. It's a little bit of a blessing in disguise, but there's been some chatter going back and forth. You, you're more reserved. You, you usually just just kind of let Kevin Cunningham do the, do the talking <laughs> for you, but you're, you're more reserved. But has Bailey gotten under your skin a little bit with some of the things that he said? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I mean, when Kevin speaks, he speaks for me too, you know. I ain't just... You know, Kevin speaking, uh, you know, I, I, it's coming from me too, you know. It, it's not like Kevin's all by himself and that, that's not me talking, no way. You know, the, the, we're a team, you know, Kevin's my team and whatever he says, it goes. So, you know, he, he definitely talking a lot of trash. I see him talking. But, you know, like you said, I'm reserved, but it can come out when it needs to come out. And, you know, I definitely can speak up when I need to be spoken, when, it, when I need to speak up. So, um, you know, of course I've been hearing it. So, hey, he can talk. You know, but, you know, he still got to get in the ring, you know, September 8th, and he still got to perform, and, you know, I'm going to have the best on him September 8th. Now, uh, I know you're already looking, you're already looking, ready to look like you're ready to fight today if you needed to. Yeah. The biceps, let's see the biceps. Everybody makes a big deal about the biceps. The freakish, it's, it's still freakish there, biceps. It's, so. still, it's still there. It ain't going nowhere. I'm always in the gym. I'm always working. Devin, last, uh, you know, 
as we get closer, hopefully we'll get some more footage of you, yeah. you know, getting training and everything. But anything you want to say to the fans or your chance to say something back to Randall Bailey if you want to. Well, Randall Bailey, you better get ready, man. September 8th is going to be a new champion on the rise. You know, you, be you better be ready. You know, you better be running your six miles instead of partying in Miami. You better be running your six miles, man, every morning because I am. And to my fans, be ready September 8th for the new champion at 147. All my fans, get ready. You're going to see a great performance. Devin, appreciate the time. Thank you. Oh, man.